Welcome back into the Daily Dose. I'm your host, Jeff Hansen. As always, the show is brought to you by GiveEmHellBrigham.com and by CougarSportsInsider.com, part of the 24-7 Sports Network. Thank you so much for your support of the show. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, like the video, share the video, leave a comment. All of those things you do with YouTube videos, it helps us out a ton. Appreciate your support so far. Let's talk a little bit about Harrison Taggart. Harrison Taggart uh, officially signed with BYU just yesterday. I know that feels like that was done a long time ago, but after a player commits, because it's a transfer, they got to go through the whole admissions process, and BYU is anything but fast when it comes to the admissions process. So finally, just yesterday, after a few weeks after he committed, Harrison Taggart is officially, officially, officially a BYU Cougar. That's great news. Great news for BYU. Great news for the linebackers. Great news for Taggart. Great news for local recruiting. Great news for a lot of things. Harrison Taggart joined uh, the Unrivaled Show with Alex Curie and Scott Mitchell on 1280 KSL, the Sports Zone, yesterday. And he talked a little bit about what his recruitment was like. And there was a couple of quotes that I want to pull out and highlight. And I'll read them to you here. Uh, Harrison Taggart, he had to say this. He said, I didn't know Coach Enna, who's now my linebackers coach. But I went up to BYU. I went up there to BYU, and we clicked right away. We hit it off, just talking ball for like two and a half or three hours, just talking about ball and life and things that are going on. And I just really, really liked him and that defensive staff. He later went on to say, "And is a legit coach. He coached Devin Lloyd quite a bit when he was at Utah. He's a great guy. He's a great family guy. And if there is anyone who bleeds blue, it's Coach Enna. That guy loves BYU more than anyone I've ever met." And his linebacker room, it's a super energetic linebacker room. It's a fast and strong linebacker room. It's a physical linebacker room. Justin Anna has a really, really big opportunity in front of him coaching the linebacker position at BYU. For whatever reason, there tends to be a lot of linebackers in BYU's recruiting pool. I don't know why, but you can go back to the 80s, and that's true. There's a lot of really talented linebackers who are interested and will would consider BYU if you have the right tools and the right coaching staff to maximize that uh, that opportunity. Coach Enna is that guy. We've talked about Coach Enna before, that people were kind of wishy-washy when he got hired, that, that hey, maybe this would have been a great hire 10 years ago. But I think people have heard enough of uh, some things that you know maybe happened at Utah or Utah State, or they just watched what happened at Utah and Utah State. And they said, I don't know if Coach Enna's that guy. This feels like uh, a last resort hire. No. No. Coach Enna is legit, folks. We've talked about, had some stuff that went on in his personal life before. We talked about how he, he associated himself with Gary Anderson, and I get why he did. He went from Utah to Logan to take on a defensive coordinator position. That's tough. That that second round at Gary Anderson, uh, that, that the Gary Anderson had at Utah State was brutal for everybody. I mean, there wasn't a lot of support uh, from the administration, from the AD. Like, fan support was kind of torn. That was a losing situation for anybody who was on that coaching staff. I mean, let's just call it what it is. And that's why Gary Anderson got out of there so quickly, or why Utah State removed Gary Anderson, whatever they did. That's why that divorce happened so quickly, because it was really apparent really early on in, in Anderson's second tenure that it wasn't going to work up there. And unfortunately... Justin Enna was kind of a victim in all of that. I mean, he was part of that staff, and he kind of got tossed to the wayside after everything went down at Utah State. And people forgot about him. He went to Eastern Washington. He went to Utah Tech. He played around at the FCS level for a minute. And he ended up at San Diego State, and now he's back at BYU. But Justin Enna is a fiery guy. He is an energetic guy. He is, he is Kalani Satake on the defensive side of the ball. He's the Kalani Satake that we saw at Utah, the, the Kalani that – gets fired up and was yelling at coaches and screaming and jumping and everybody loved him. That's who Justin Enna is. I mean, he has the potential to become that guy. Justin Enna at BYU, now that he's comfortable, he's in an environment that, that he's familiar with, that he loves, that he knows, that he understands, and all the stuff outside of football, off the football field, is settled. Coach Enna is a rising star on this coaching staff. Uh, even in just this cycle of the transfer portal we've seen. Anna brings in A.J. Vongvachan, who's going to be a starter, maybe BYU's leading tackler this year. And then he goes out and he gets Harrison Taggart, also a very, very big deal. He's got Ciala Acera to work with, and he he and Jay Hill helped solidify Ciala Acera's recruitment and commitment to BYU. 
Justin Enna's got a pretty impressive resume, despite the fact that he's only been on staff at BYU for six months. Give him a year. Give him two years. And I think we're talking about Justin Enna as a guy who could potentially become BYU's best recruiter. And if things go well, I think he could potentially become BYU's next defensive coordinator if and when Jay Hill eventually takes a head coaching job somewhere else. I think Enna is back on track. He's on the track that he was at when he got pulled from Weber State to go up to Utah. And when he got pulled from Utah after just a couple of years to be a defensive coordinator, that's how fast he was rising in the coaching ranks. And I think he's back on that track now at BYU. He's learned some things. He'll be a little bit more cautious, I think, as he takes new jobs and looks forward in his career. But I think BYU's got an absolute home run. And Harrison Taggart seems to agree. And uh, Harrison Taggart could have gone anywhere. Even out of the transfer portal, he still could have gone anywhere. And uh, BYU, they, they won out in the end in large part because of what Coach Anna brings to the table. That should excite all BYU fans. Justin Anna is the real deal. And uh, we should be proud of that. We should be excited about that. Thank you for your support of the show. And until next time, give them hell.